listen to her vocals. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> I am the war chief. Hello, my friends, and welcome. We're in session once again for another Hololive reaction. And this time we have Muna's second original song, High Tide. Um, let me first start this off by saying belated happy birthday to you, Muna. Um, I cannot wait to see uh, what you have in store for us because... My uh, little Discord community has only had good things to say about this uh, song. So, let's go and check that out, shall we? As usual, we'll be doing a quick pass and a lyric breakdown. I already checked. Thankfully, this does have CCs. So what we're going to do is um, the first run through, you're just a quick pass. We're just going to take it all in. I'm going to keep the CCs off. And then for the second run through for the lyric breakdown, that's when we'll turn it back on. Okay, let's do this. Uh, he's off first. Let's go. Ooh, music and concept is by Muna. Okay. What an intense piano. Ooh. Whoa, okay. <laughs> Wait, that was a big subversion of expectation from the start. I thought it was gonna. St oh! <laughs> Damn! <laughs> oh my lord! <laughs> this animation, look at the art quality! <laughs> Definitely very, um. Uh, like league references or some KDA style stuff. This is a power song. <laughs> the yellow in the eyes. Listen to her vocals. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> There is no pose that screams, I'm a badass, deal with it. <laughs> that, that was. Jesus. Oh my God. Yeah, the song is very KDA. Oh. There's so much happening here. And of course her vocals are fantastic. Oh! Beat drops! Damn! On the yellow in her eyes. Intensity of that glow. These particle effects! <laughs> wow! Man, I'm sure a lot of you've been um, had your neurons activated when Muna glares at you like that, huh? <laughs> the tone changes, goes a little bit softer. I'm really enjoying this. <coughs> Got a little hot in here. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, attack animations. We've got some. <laughs> we've got casting animations and we've got some battle animations too. Oh, the frame rate going lower there. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. I mean, uh, that was superb. 
How is it it's her birthday and we're the ones getting a gift, huh? <laughs> Man. That was not the direction I thought it was going to go. But I am incredibly happy that that's where it went. Because, you know, when you hear the piano at the start, it gives you some vibes from her first original, you know? Like the ballad style of I know Ti Sana. Um, but, you know, it goes from that little piano, and then there's a beat drop, and the tone completely changes. The art comes in, and you're like, oh, it's not a typical song. It's not, it's nothing like what you would expect. And that's the best part. <laughs> and then the, the, the rest of the three minutes, it just takes you on this incredible ride. <laughs> This is like if there was um if there was like a uh, what do you call it um a cinematic video game trailer for uh like Muna as a as a playable character this is it you know this would build so much hype for like a Muna Hoshinova DLC crossover thing you know what I mean <laughs> that's fantastic stuff right there oh god. <laughs> I'm a huge fan. <laughs> oh boy. All right. Now, I know there are some of you who are only here for the quick pass, and I appreciate you all the same. Thank you so much for dropping by. And for those of you who are here for the lyric breakdown, well, let's turn on the CCs. Let's rewind this bad boy, well, this bad girl. <laughs> and let's do this again. Now we'll be pausing. You know, taking in the little details here and there, huh? It was her concept. Man. I mean, when Muna plays into it... Okay, just... Okay, can we, can we just... Once again, can we just appreciate that part, okay? Just that intro. Like I said, that piano comes in, right? Gives you the ballad vibes. You think it's gonna be a bit, you know, a bit of a dramatic kind of song, and it is, but not for the. <clears throat> right? When you hear that, that drop, that boom, and then cuts to this fantastic, like, anime quality uh, art of Mona, you're like, when you look up at the night sky and you're like, okay immediately sets the tone and uh it immediately sets the tone and you're like oh that's where we're going and this really also does play into the lore of there's the muna and then there's hoshinova <laughs> let's go when you look up at the night sky Okay, this, there are so many uh, wallpaper worthy uh, screenshots here. This being one of the very first. And the perfect thing is now watch me set the scene as she sets the scene here in the MV as Hoshinova shows up. And there's, you know, Moon is the ordinary girl and then Hoshinova is like the, the moon goddess. <laughs> She'll definitely light it up. Dang! Okay. Alright. Alright. You see what I mean? Appreciate all this art. I mean, there's so many possible moments here. Longing for me like a lifeline. Hmm. Now, I wonder though if the one singing from this perspective, if you're longing for me like a lifeline, is this probably from the perspective of Hoshinova? Mm. Mm. It does sound like it's Hoshinova who's singing at this point. Power voice! And this one is like, doesn't this give you some Kingdom Hearts Destati uh, vibes? Like when Sora breaks through, you know, when Sora falls through the water and then 
it actually shatters into the darkness. <laughs> There's a whole different realm here. You'll be bowing on your knees. <laughs> Power song, man. Muna, Muna Hoshinova. The badass boss lady who you will not mess with. <laughs> Take no shit from anyone. Pulling you in. And the, it's high tide. Probably because also, you know, that high tide is. You know, uh, high tide and low tide are caused by, um, you know, lunar phases, so it fits in. Watch my glory and might. And what I'm really loving so much about this MV, now that we're going through this slowly, is that the lyrics match up so well with what's happening in the MV. Watch my glory and might as her eyes turn yellow. And you're like, oh, she's about to show that glory and might. Rain will never stop, and she's sitting on her throne. Oh. Bless. <laughs> oh my god! I'm sorry, I've been pausing so much, and it's only been, what, a minute ten in? <laughs> Oof. Let me turn off autoplay for you. Oh my god. Right, Enigma. No, see? You see what I mean? The, the, what's happening in the MV is so synced up to what, the, to what the lyrics are saying. Here it says, It's no surprise that you'll give in to the brilliance and then as it shows here if to the brilliance and then this wallpaper is shining bright uh, you know it says brilliance and then there's that big shine and it shows you this like a moth to a light like a moth to a light and look at that here like a moth to a light and that's the one thing here that's, you know, really drawing your attention in all this artwork. You know, it's in the rule of thirds, the brightest spot here. That's naturally where your eyes head to. And then... My heart again. <laughs> really will succumb to that blinding radiance, for sure. That's... Oof. My goodness. You look up at the night sky. What do you see? And yet, my shine, and then it turns red here, surprisingly enough. So, what do you see? What do you see? I shine, but it turns red. And then, like, hold in sight. But it represents now, like, there's, a, there's an adversary here. Jesus! <laughs> it's like, all right, all right, you will be buying on your knees. Like, that's an absolute power move, but she just cast that freaking ray of moonlight. <laughs> Watch my glory and my, as she does these crazy moves now. I wonder, I wonder what the significance is of this flower in particular. I don't know what kind of flower it is, or what special significance this holds to Muna, but I do wonder. Like, you wouldn't, you wouldn't put this much detail on it if it wasn't important. You know what I'm saying? And her power definitely ignites. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord, she just looks down on you like that. God, the M's in chat <laughs> will get activated. <laughs> and 
then the tone shift again. Mm hmm. <laughs> and now it's like full acceptance of that power. Jeez, it's not all of this stuff that's happening. Glory in my falling again. Jeez, was that a sight? Let me, let me rewind there a little bit. It looks like, yeah, it looks like a scythe. She, swung, but she also swung it that way, you know, it's a wide swing, a wide arch, so like, I feel like this is a scythe of some sort. Dang. It's perfect for that persona. Okay, it did look like a scythe. Oh, okay, and now she has that earring. Very cool detail. And her eyes are now bright yellow too. Now, if we rewind to that very start, that earring is on her right ear. You know? Well, it's on her right ear from this perspective, you know? And then when you get to the end, the earring is now on the left. On the left side. <laughs> and it's interesting too, at this point, you don't really see if she's still wearing an earring on the right side of her face. But now that it's on the left, it's almost maybe like some form of acceptance when she looks at you like that, you know? And I love, of course, the whole life production at the back. And she just gives you that smile. Oh my god, there's so many, so many noteworthy moments in this MV. <laughs> oh, pure badassery. Of course, we got that little fan service going. <laughs> but yeah, this really does feel like a, a full-on character theme trailer for uh, you know, a special event where Mona Oshinova has the... Uh, as a special guest character in some sort of, well, like a League of Legends game or something, or a, or a fighting game, something like that. An RPG. <laughs> wow. This was a pure power song. And Muna take no shit from anyone, you know? <laughs> it's, oh my god. I'm just, I'm just like fanboying at this point. <laughs> Because that was incredible. That was so good. From the very start of the subversion of expectation with that piano. Right? And then from the, that point on, all those beat drops just... Oh my god. Has some excellent, excellent... Uh, Beat drops, definitely uh, some, a lot of influence from those KDA vibes. And, you know, when she first covered Villain, that instantly went up to my, you know, top 30 list. I, this is so, oh my god, this is so powerful. And the best part is, it's an original. It is hers. And she owned it. <laughs> Oh my god, I thought Villain was good. This is on a different level. Especially because it is her song. Yeah? Alright. So let me get rid of this right here. Because that's pretty much all I have to say about that. And whew, I hope you guys enjoyed that as much as I did. I know a lot of you in the Discord were already recommending this to me. <laughs> and I can see why. Let me know what you thought in the comments below, and uh, if, you would, if you'd like to hang out with us more directly, of course, uh, the link to the Discord is in the description below. Please remember to like and subscribe, and with that, our session is adjourned. 
Everybody, please take care of yourselves, and I will see you in the next one. This is Senator Warchief signing out. Bye-bye.